I'm Julia Pique and welcome to Motorsport Report. Formula One's team of specialists tasked with shaping the future direction of the sport are focusing on improving three areas of car performance, aerodynamics, engines and suspension. Formula One is keen to boost its audience and increase engagement with fans with Ross Braun's team, which includes former Chief Technical Officer Pat Simmons, looking at ways to improve the show. A key focus is the technical regulations, with Braun's team having marked out three sections of the rules as key performance differentiators. Simmons said, quote, we're looking at the technical and sporting regulations. Formula One technical regulations are split into 21 sections. As we go through those sections, we can see some of them aren't very relevant to the spectacle. So we decided that what we wanted to do was technically, we wanted to have three performance differentiators. There will be others, drivers, pit stops, pit crew, strategy, but these are the technical things we're really going to focus on. In sports cars, Toyota has completed a first successful test with the latest version of its LMP1 car with which it will contest the 2018-2019 World Endurance Championship Super Season. The updated Toyota was given a shakedown over three days at the Aragon Circuit in Spain last week with Sebastian Buemi and Mike Conway driving. Toyota is scheduled to announce its driver lineup for the Super Season in early February ahead of the unveiling of the entry list for the WEC and the Le Mans 24 Hours in Paris on February 9th. The Japanese manufacturer has stated that it will go into the season with an unchanged lineup. How two-time Formula One world champion Fernando Alonso, who tested the TSO50 hybrid in Bahrain last November, might fit in should he agree to a deal with Toyota for Le Mans remains unclear. That's it for today's Motorsport Report. I'm Julia Piquet and thanks for watching.